So straight up, let's look at uh, adrenocortical disorders. So this is either unproduction or overproduction of uh, glucocorticoids or uh, mineral corticoids. So leading to a uh, hypofunction or hyperfunction status. So we look at uh, glucocorticoid excess, that is Cushing syndrome or disease. So this arises from uh, adrenal, from pituitary adenoma production of excessive amounts of uh, adrenocorticotrophic hormone, so which results in excess cortisol production. So Cushing syndrome can also arise from uh, exogenous administration of uh, glucocorticoids or endogenous excess uh, production of cortisols by adrenal glands or uh, ectopic production of adrenocorticotrophic hormone such as by bronchogenic carcinoma. So what are the clinical features? So here the patient is going to present with weight low, weight gain, moon phase, hypertension, skin stator, hashtism, acne, easy uh, bruisability, hyperpigmentation, glucose intolerance, uh, plethora, uh, proximal muscle weakness, uh, menstrual dysfunction, otopnia, uh, hyperkalemia, and uh, metabolic alkalosis. So for such a patient, you have to do a urinary free cortisol levels, uh, plasmocortisol and uh, adenocorticotrophic uh, hormone levels. So you also have to do adenocorticotrophic hormone stimulation tests, uh, dextamethyl suppression test, uh, abdominal imaging, uh, pituitary imaging as well as uh, urea and uh, electrolyte levels. So after doing that, you manage by patient by identifying the pituitary adenoma and institute uh, surgical removal, which is very important. So drug management is by uh, bromocryptin. Also do adrenal adenomectomy for adrenocortical carcinoma or uh, adenoma. We also have to administer chemotherapy for such patients so that you can be able to manage the carcinoma. So for advanced uh, adrenocortical carcinoma, medical ablations are uh, usually the best interventions for such cases. Thank you.